Hi. Hello. We're here. Look at that. Looks like everything has kicked in. A couple of minor technical difficulties. We were getting things started today, but I think we're okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I know. Again, we have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we are crossing our fingers and praying, though, so that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get things started here very soon. This is the Prodigy Team Star League. This is Casper Jamas here with Ask Joshi, and uh, glad to be here with you. Yeah. It's uh, morning time here on the West Coast. It's about 1 p.m. Eastern, and obviously all those other times in between and abroad, but uh, I think it's something like 7 p.m. Uh, Central European time, so good starting time for everybody to be able to come watch this awesome, unique 2v2 tournament today. So I'm excited to cast it. We did cast several series yesterday, as did Atabisi and Wombat. Yeah, but, big uh, thanks to them for uh, covering for us for a little while while we were busy. Yeah, today it's going to be just us doing, I think, six best of threes today to Indeed it is. sort of round out the uh, upper bracket and lower bracket. Tomorrow we'll be doing some finals but uh, again, still just setting some things up, trying to get everything together here so that the broadcast can be the best that it can possibly be. Absolutely. So here we go. Looks like everything is ready to rock. Need to back this down. Apparently someone was actually playing StarCraft on this the last time uh, it was being used, which is unusual yeah, for me. Yeah, was playing StarCraft? I don't know. That, that's weird. Was that you? I don't know. I, I might me. have been. Ugh. <laughs> no, I do love this game. It's uh, just don't often have time to uh, to play when I uh, am casting pretty much constantly. So it looks like our settings are ready to go. Yeah, settings mode have been changed. Let's try not to log in under Josh, and it looks like we're going to be ready to go in just a second. Yeah, we're just going to hop in a lobby as soon as we possibly can and try to get our first game of the day underway. Okay, so there we are. We are now online. It appears as though Artivan is as well. He is in a game, so cool. All right, and we'll see who is going to be up first today. So we still have the splash screen up. Take a look at the brackets. I'm not sure actually what teams we're going to be starting with. So I think uh, perhaps we'll go top down again. They, that's how it was running yesterday, so I'm I don't know, it just seems logical, which would put, um, let's see, I believe Team Destiny versus Team EG was at the top of the brackets. Yes, I believe so as well. So perhaps we'll see in just a moment when we download High Orbit. <laughs> that is true. And it, Oh, it's going to be Supsun versus Assassins. Assassins. Nice. So we have oh. Cats and Drewby versus Select and Optic Zero. So here we go. Yeah, it's, uh, Optic Zero is over in Korea right now. It looks like his buddy, GSL Caster Wolf, is actually in the room as well. And Complexity Cat's pending right now, so we weren't the last ones in to Hooray! the lobby. Yay! <laughs> Go us! There is a lot of production going on for this 2v2 tournament. Obviously, you can go listen to each team's uh, audio while they're talking to each other in yes. addition to listening to us cast the games. Yeah, yeah big thanks to the guys behind uh, WarpPrism.com for setting that up. They do have a wonderful site as well. Highly encourage you to check that out. Again, that is WarpPrism.com. Yeah, that's Professor Frank's doing. He is <laughs> Jake Frank. You have Drubia written. I do have Drubia <laughs> written. That's a pretty cool name, though. It's more exotic, <laughs> if you ask me. It's from Drubia. the West Indies. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just getting everything set up. Still, cats, still pending. He'll be he'll be along shortly, I'm sure. Or Drewby would kill him for mm. not showing up to this. Yes, that is correct. Two v two is where cats and Drewby shine in all these team leagues and clan wars and things like this. And this is their chance to really say, "Hey, we're the best two v two team. You, no one can argue because we beat all of you." <laughs> so we'll see if they're going to be able to take out Select and Optic Zero. Obviously, they are incredibly good as well. So it will be difficult for Cats and Drewby. Okay, so he was just on Skype, so he should be back soon. And his uh, profile picture has loaded, which means that my input limit temporarily has a, uh, a small ceiling. I could probably do one action and not get an input limit reached. Don't even try it. Don't touch <laughs> Kevin. It I won't. might end badly. 
All right, so select an optic zero, of course. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the brackets. Brackets, brackets, brackets. Actually, while I do that, that'll be up in just a second. You may want to cover for me here in just a minute. Should we set up this monitor, too? And then we can see all kinds of things. I know we could, but I didn't plan ahead of time, and now uh, it's attached to the television. Maybe between series. Yeah, we we'll, probably should. We'll figure something out, but either way... Let's see, select an Optic Zero playing Terran and Protoss. Basically, if I remember correctly from their series that we cast yesterday, all they had to do was defend against Team Vile. Yes, and they Vile won. did a lot of, <laughs> lot of cheesy, cheesy rushes. Super early proxies and mass links, and select really just had to have his repair button ready. Auto repair, GG. <laughs> but um, look at that, Optic Zero with the Korean LOL, 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 LOL. I, I have like not it. seen that before. And it looks like... Everybody's here. Go. Yeah, everyone's in the room. So we're going to go ahead and get things started here in just a second. Artivan is asking if everyone is ready. So good luck, have fun to our teams. Let's go ahead and get things started. Bring you guys into the view where you can see the countdown. First game of the six best of threes that we will be casting today between Sup Sun and the Assassins. The Assassins. I, I, they actually used that to refer to their League of Legends uh, team for a little while. Mm -hmm. Once uh, League of Legends started getting popular, they had a bunch of uh, friends and fanboys making a team as Root Gaming, so they called them the Assassins instead <laughs> of just something formal. But uh, anyway, High Orbit. This is a map that I have played myself. It's not one of our crazy new Icy Cup style maps from Prodigy. Which so are awesome. They are way. all awesome, but I'm just less familiar with them. And this That's one, true. This one actually is pretty crazy. Like, even just looking at that, you can see there's bases everywhere. If the game does last past 10 minutes, which is rare, mm -hmm. it can turn into an hour-long game pretty quickly. Or pretty easily, I should say. Not pretty quickly, because it would take an hour. Yeah, absolutely. Team <laughs> games are extremes. They either last two seconds, or they last about an hour and a half. So, let's see. Ooh, got a little bit of lag as everything gets started, but it looks like it's going to shake itself out. There we go. Thank you, Battle.net, for cooperating this morning. Down here at the 6 o'clock position from Assassins, we have Complexity Cat spawning as our blue Zerg player. His teammate, also from Complexity, is Drooby. He is our teal Terran player. Now, from Sup Suns, we have here at the 12 o'clock position, FX Optic Zero, currently in Korea at the moment. He is spawning as our pink Perotas player and his teammate, Dignitas Select, spawning as our purple Terran player. So there we are, Subsons versus Assassins, first game of the day of the Prodigy Team Star League. Here we go. I hope that Optic Zero's latency does not become an issue. They actually had another team from FXO uh, ready to play in this Prodigy Team Star League before we knew that they were all headed to Korea to play in the uh, GSTL. Um, so I'm glad that at least Optic Zero is still trying to participate here, and mm -hmm. I, I do hope that he's uh, able to keep that regular latency. I believe all the rest of them are in North America right now, so um, obviously Optic Zero playing from Korea could be a hamper if uh, any latency gets in the way. So yesterday didn't really seem to affect him too much. He just spammed a bunch of zealots in the two games that we saw. Yeah, and, and you know, they were forced to just put up structures, and they didn't have a ton of micro to handle or anything like that. I mean, uh, Select had to do a little bit of repair occasionally, but his latency wasn't necessarily getting in the way. Optic Zero just kind of sat back, defended that wall, and then ran in with the units that he had left. Drewy now putting down two barracks. Two barracks, I tell you, with no gas. Uh, Cats, on the other hand, dropped down a 10 pool and then immediately put down an extractor after that. His overlord has just come out, and there we are, six lings. So there's going to be uh, a good enough to defend any sort of an early rush. Select also putting up double racks at this time without gas. Optic Zero, on the other hand, looks like he's opening with a pretty standard 1v1 build at the moment. Yeah, and he's actually tucking all of his structures into his Nexus too. Makes it look a little bit more defensive, not trying mm -hmm. to share the load on that ramp, that like triple wide ramp right there. Like Select do all the work instead with his barracks and his supply depots. But uh, both players obviously going to be making a lot of tier one units, which is the norm. Katz is already approaching now with his first six lings and will be arriving shortly. Select, I don't see any Marines yet, but there, oh, actually there is one Marine and one in production. The bunker goes down, perfect timing, the lings are repelled. There's nothing they're going to be able to do there. 
Yep, absolutely. He has to run away because there was one Marine sitting behind. i um, curious to see how Katz follows this up because he was just producing a lot of Lings there for a while. Um, with the next two that he has coming up in Lingsby, that's going to give him... He has a total of 12 Lings out at the moment. Has not produced drones in quite a while. Druby, on the other hand, he is massing Marines. Looks like they're going to head around the right-hand side. They're already starting to do work on this destructible debris. Select knows it, though. He's going to put up a bunker, so they are going to be defended against this. Unfortunately, those Zerglings won't be able to make their way up, but these Marines can slowly pick away at that, and it's going to force Select to not take Zero into kind of a defensive position. That's true, and obviously you want to be the aggressor in this situation. Basically, you don't have to worry as much about counterattacks or anything like that. You're forcing your opponents to spend resources and time on stuff they would never build otherwise, and that Overlord doing some spotting will allow them to actually repel those Marines and let the Zerglings get in on the front as well, just accelerating the whole destructible debris process. And mm -hmm. That front wall that Select's built now is essentially useless because it's going to be an even bigger hole than a supply depot, you know, could block. Yeah, and we see just mass Marines coming up for Druby and a ton of Zerglings coming up for Cats, and nice job peeling back those uh, Zerglings one after another. These destructible debris down to 500 points of health. That's going to fall soon, but Select already has three bunkers and a supply depot up here to limit the mobility of those units from a Druby and Cats. So we'll see what they're able to do. The destructible debris now down to just less than 100 points of health. Are they going to make their way in? They do. Here they come. They run by. Very smart. So, well, no, they're going to actually come after the bunkers. Wait a second. Here we go. Now Cat's going to make his way into the main, and that's just going to mean that a lot of these SCVs are going to fall. Good positioning, though, by Optic Zero and Select. These are obviously very, very smart players uh, that are going against each other. And here we go. It looks like the Probe might now going to fall under attack. I like that Cat's is targeting Optic Zero's Probe because of that latency. I was going to say earlier, they can probably try and focus on him. If, even if he's quick enough to react and click on his sentry and click a force field, it might not happen for another half a second. So mm -hmm. I do like that they're trying to gun down all these probes and uh, that sentry that died without being able to do anything, for example. But now now that all the enemy units are in Optic Zero's base, he just heads back over to the SCVs, not trying to focus down the mule, just wants to kill whatever he can. Yeah, absolutely, and this is this is just really smart. All he's doing is mining, uh, denying mining time, I should say, uh, because at the same time, Drippy is actually putting up another command center. Uh, all the Zerglings are eventually killed. Katz does have another run of them ready if he wants to, but both players are now starting to expand. So similar principles to what you see in 1v1 in terms of attacking and expanding behind it, but a very smart way to go about it. That was actually very fun to watch. Yeah, and Katz is going to be the first one to expand here now. He's got a hatchery going down at this sort of off-to-the-right position. They did break down the destructible rocks for the gold base, but I don't really see either of them taking that anytime soon. Maybe just preparing for way, way later. Uh, obviously, Optic Zero and Select haven't even been able to leave their base yet this game, so Druby and Katz have to be pretty happy about the damage that they've done so far. And it looks oh, like, wow. yeah, Drewby, I was totally wrong. Well, he's going to be brazen. No, I, I agree with you. I mean, it's hard to hold the gold on this on this map. So this is a pretty brazen move. But if he's able to pull it off for a couple of minutes, it's going to make a huge return for him, especially as soon as he starts dropping down mules on that uh, on those rich mineral fields. Now, Katz is actually double expanding. Is this going to give him a solid economy? Yes. But it's really going to help out his production, which is more key at this point for him. Uh, especially as he just needs to produce a billion drones. There we go, five coming up at once. He's also going to layer, and he's going to row and finishing up those two hatcheries and still producing zerglings and queens. So he is quite busy at the moment. Select is expanding as well, but he, his unit producing structures, okay, he's just putting up his, oh wow, actually double factory. I figured this was going to be one barracks, one factory, but that is actually two factories at once. I wonder if he'll go lots of tanks or lots of Hellions, since all he's seen so far are those light units out of Druby and Katz. All those Lings and Marines will be torched up pretty quickly, but it looks like... I think it was a reactor going up on that first... Actually, no, it is a tech lab. A tech lab yeah. So Marine tank, obviously we saw that a lot yesterday. Poke Bunny, for example, versus uh, Kauru from MYM. That turned into a huge Marine tank battle on Twilight Fortress, but uh, not a surprising tech switch at all. And he is getting, yeah, another tech lab right there on that mm -hmm. second factory. Yes. Stargate going up for Optic Zero actually just finished somewhere, but he has not begun producing any units out of it yet. I probably would expect uh, Void Rays to supplement the army, maybe a handful of Phoenixes to try and kill off some Overlords as well. But Katz really doesn't have too many Overlords just scattered around the map. Yeah, absolutely. They're all pretty much sitting inside of his base at the moment. And he's also going to need to put up a couple more here in a second, or he will be supply capped. Has to watch out for that. We do have an infestation pit coming down now for Katz. Uh, be cool to see if he uses infestors as much as he does in his 1v1 play. 
this overseer though for, or I'm sorry, Observer from uh, Optic Zero is going to be able to get in, scout out everything here from Team Assassins. And look at this. It's like Select is actually going to try and take the gold as well. However, this is significantly after Drooby. Drooby has already been mining off this, even been taking uh, gas from this position for quite a while. So uh, he is doing just fine at the moment. His, his economy looks very, very good. In fact, looking at the income tab, we see that Team Assassins is mining at a way larger rate than uh, Subsons is. That's true. Can we look at army value also, just to see? I think Cats should be farthest ahead. It's actually not. It's going to be Drooby, who is sort of holding the torch right now for unit production. Mm -hmm. uh, his army value is a little bit higher than everybody, but Void Rays are now starting to slip out of that Stargate. First one, I believe, just about to finish, and another one queued up. So Optic Zero 